Well, well, you know what? You don't have to paddle your way through too many puddles today, Michelle, because the rain has tapered off from last night. A little bit of drizzle over parts of the southern half of Vancouver Island. And the, although the, the flow is coming from the northwest, which usually uh, fosters a clearing trend, there's just so much cloud caught up in that flat high pressure ridge. It probably will stay mostly gray today. It's a bit drizzly right now in Tofino and Victoria. And there's some patchy drizzle in your forecast throughout the remainder of the day. Mostly gray skies, nine degrees in Victoria. It's considerably colder both on the Sunshine Coast, north through Sea to Sky Country, and that Squamish to Worcester corridor as well. Some light snow fell in Worcester last night. The maximum temperature today is only plus two. And again, it's sort of intermittent light flurries at times mixing with a bit of patchy drizzle for your Worcester forecast. Really stays quite cool all day. I think in the Fraser Valley, we'll have our highest uh, probability of precipitation locally because the flow eventually spins around and kind of blows in from the west. And that'll sort of choke up the eastern part of the valley with lots of cloud cover, keeping showers in your forecast as well. Four degrees in Abbotsford right now. Eight is the high for this afternoon with a few more showers at times. The worst of the weather for the valley still comes on Thursday. Around Metro Vancouver, uh, Metro Vancouver, a number of areas reporting drier conditions like downtown right now, Port Coquitlam. A few light showers trucking through sections of Surrey where it's four degrees. Our posted high today is nine. And again, this 60% chance might even be a little on the high side, but it's sort of on and off again with some scattered showers today. Most of the rain tomorrow comes very late in the day, so it's dry from sunrise through lunchtime into the early afternoon, then it's wet later on. Thursday rains all day. Make some indoor plans. That's a dastardly day. But on Friday, it does dry out, a break or two of sun, a high of 10, and we're back into that wet weather cycle later Saturday into Sunday as well, hoping to dry things up in time for Remembrance Day. Rias, good morning to you.